Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris and Randy with WeBuyGuns.com. Welcome to another unboxing video. Today we got some cool stuff in for you, so we thought we'd bring you along. Anyway, if that sounds interesting, please stick around. It's coming up now. First up is one from a customer in Oklahoma. Let's see what we have in here. Mustang, Oklahoma. Chris. Oh, no, Randy. Well, what you got there? Ah. Looks like we have a macro up here. So what we do have here is a Polish P64. This is a variant off of the uh, Russian Makarov. It works in much the same way. It has a fixed barrel, trigger guard hinges down, slide comes up and off just like on the Makarov. Because of that fixed barrel design, they are very accurate. These are chambered in 9 by 18 Makarov and used by Polish, originally by the artillery, I'm led to believe, but also used by the Polish army as well. Uh, they would later in 1983 go to the Wanad P83 pistol, which we've had here on the channel before. A very small compact sidearm uh, by most military standards, um, especially coming out of the Cold War era, usually by then the Makarovs and uh, you're getting into other variants in the 9x18 Czechoslovakia or current day Czech Republic with the CZ82s. Uh, what am I missing, John? John has failed. The John has failed. <laughs> Strike two, John. <laughs> Cucumber detail tomorrow, John. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Turn in your 40. What is the other one? There's the Makarov, the P64, the P83, the CZ82. Um, what was it? Oh, the uh, Hungarian P863. That was the one. The, the fag. Yeah. Um, anyway, really cool. As surplus pistols, these are very functional, but they are kind of snappy because of their small light weight nature. But anyway, very cool Circle 11. Uh, what do you think about the condition of that one? Surplus gun, I would definitely say uh, very good condition, Chris. And I would agree with that, and that's what the customer said. So we have an agreement there. We will move on to the next one. All right, guys, next up, we have one that comes to us from a customer in Illinois. So let's see what we got. Pulls in Sporter Configuration Day. Let's see. I know what that is. All right. Ooh, wow. That looks mm. nice. What we have here is a Century Arms, right? It's not checkpoint yet. Century Arms VZ 2008. The VZ 2008 was built off of original uh, Czechoslovakian uh, VZ 58 rifle parts kits and US made receivers and barrels, chamber 762 by 39. This particular one has the original crutch folding stock, which is how they would have been sold. Looks like the previous owner actually put on an original what they call the Beaver Barf furniture set. Uh, they called that because it was a mixture of wood chips and some sort of resin. It's really hard and durable uh, uh, furniture type configuration but gave this distinct beaver barf type of appearance. Uh, looks like a cleaning kit here and a nice original leather magazine pouch with four magazines. You can grab one of those out for me. Now the magazines are curved like an AK mag, but they are not interchangeable with the AK-47 or AKM. In fact, the entire uh, look is similar to an AK, but it is not really part of the AK family. Different operating system working on a short stroke gas piston as opposed to the long stroke gas piston. So other than just the aesthetic similarities, they are really completely different rifles. Czechoslovakia uh, wanted to go a different way when it came to arms manufacturing from the other Comblock countries who typically went with Russian manufactured designs. So things like this and the VZ-52 uh, rifle, which served a similar role as the SKS, but their own unique design in 7.62x45. Just kind of really their own cool, unique spin. So what do you think about the condition on that one? Just few marks on it, very few. Um, I'd say definitely very good condition, Chris. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I would go probably, yeah, I, there are a few handling marks on it. Again, these are built off of surplus parts kits, so some of that's to be expected. But compared to a lot of the other VZ-58s I've seen, this one actually looks about, you know, probably in a little bit of a higher tier in terms of condition. Uh, I would probably go with very good as well. And the customer said, good on the rifle. So yeah. definitely very fair. Thank you very much for that. And uh, always love getting these things in. We actually see quite a few of these. We get in, gosh, last year we probably had in five or six of these. So. They are not manufactured by Century Arms anymore, so it's always nice to see one come in. So there's that one for you. 
Next up is from a customer in Illinois. Let's see what's in the box. Customer says bolts are packaged separately in the box. Blender. She no, she no give. There we go. Slovakian, no, I'm sorry, yeah, this is Brno. This is an older one. Czechoslovakian, Mauser action, let's see, matching numbers 4314. Actually, it has a, um, what do I want to say, the uh, Turkish stamps on it. Interesting. I don't know if it's a contract gun. Honestly, I don't know much about this one. 1451, no, it's mismatched. 1451, or at least I should, should just say the bolt is mismatched. Import mark there on the barrel, 51, 51. So it's all matching other than the bolt. I don't know if the bolt is matching itself, but it looks like it's a Turkish uh, contracted, it's got Turkish marks on it, but made in Brno, which is Czechoslovakia. Let's see what the customer said, Brno. 9822. Again, I do not know much about these rifles. Um, just a straight, straight handled Mauser action uh, based off the like Gewehr 88 or K98 variation made in Czechoslovakia. So, what do you think about the condition of that one? Um, I would say fair. That's what the customer said. I would agree. There's a lot of wear, a lot of marks on. This side of the rifle, there's a big chunk of the stock missing with right. a little crack right there. Yeah, it's definitely it's fair. Up here. Yeah, it's a fair condition rifle. We'll check the bolt, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the bore, which actually is really nice. Maybe a little bit of graying in there, but that bore is definitely, I would give it a solid 8.5 or 9 out of 10. That's a nice bore. So this would be a good shooter. Probably would need a new stock eventually, but really cool rifle. So let's move on to the next one. All right, next up we have one from the same customer in Illinois. All right, another surplus rifle. This is a VZ model 24. Manufactured from about the 1920s, 1924 specifically, to about 1942. Now when Germany would occupy Czechoslovakia, they would fold a lot of these into German military service, so it was not uncommon to see VZ-24s used by the Germans during the Second World War. Looking to see if we have do 17817, 17817. Looks like a mismatched. No, it's marked by electric pencil to match. This is a refurb rifle. Interesting. Okay, so a Czechoslovakian VZ24, again based off of the 98 series of Mauser out of Germany. Not much else to say about it. Around that time, the Mauser action was so popular that basically every country was coming up with their own version. This was the one that was used by Czechoslovakia. So uh, not much else to say about it. What do you think about the condition of that one? I'm kind of not real sure on the refurbed um, surplus stuff, Chris. Um, I mean, just looking at the condition of it, I mean, to me, it looks good. Um, Given what it is, other things like it is referred VZ-24s, I'd probably say this would be in the very good class of rifles. The crest on top has been scrubbed. There's obviously been electric penciling on the bolt handle. Um, there is, you know, arsenal repairs on the, the top handguard. The top handguard is actually, you know, looks like from a different rifle. So pretty much has all the hallmark characteristics of a refurbed gun. But as it says, I would say this is a very good example of a refurbed VZ-24. Uh, but very cool. Let's move on to the next one. Next up is one from the same customer in Illinois. Thank you for sending this in to us. Ooh. 
the famous moist nugget. Okay. Alright guys, here we have a Mosin Nagant 9130. Let's see if I can remember my... Oh, the bolt is falling apart. Not good. And, and classic Mosin... Oh, I see the problem here. Alright guys, sorry about that. The bolt was actually kind of falling to pieces while we were trying to insert it, so I had to rebuild the bolt. <laughs> Reassemble it really um, to get it back in there so everything's good. This is a Russian Mosin Nagant M9130. We've talked about these ad nauseum on this channel. I've had them on weekly used gun reviews and unboxing videos and all sorts of stuff. Chambered is 762 by 54. This was Russia's standard firearm that was used in the Second World War uh, and even prior to the Second World War. This one has the round receiver and very cool rifles. They are everywhere. What do you think about the condition on that one? Surplus good and maybe the high end of good. Yeah, I would agree. Customer said very good, but you know, we'll take it. This is just a general refurb 9130. So anyway, really cool rifle. We will move on to the last one. All right, guys, last but not least for today, we have another one from the same customer in Illinois. Ah, yes, an SKX. This is an SKS. This one is a Russian manufactured Tula made in 1952. Now a couple refurbishment notes on this is you can see the electric penciling on it, but also the bolt is blued originally. They were left in the white. Also, there is a reinforcing lug that has been added to the wrists of the stock here. That was a definite refurbishment characteristics, characteristic of these rifles to strengthen the wrist. SKS's very popular rifles. These are manufactured in Russia, of course, China, Romania, Yugoslavia. Am I missing any? Am I missing any, John? I don't think so. I think that's about then uh, there was the um, uh, Rashid, which was not t technically an SKS out of Egypt. It served in a similar role, the VC-52, which we already talked about. And the what was the other one? The um, what was the one that had the very big vents in it? Albanian. Albanian. Yeah, the Albanian <laughs> SKS. Yeah, and then the Albanians. But. Um, these had a very short-lived service life because by the time these were in full production in Russia, the Kalashnikov AK-47 was already coming online. So where these saw a prominent amount of use is actually by the Chinese and the Vietnam, not the Chinese, the Vietnamese using the Chinese SKSs in the Vietnam War conflict. Uh, anyway, so very cool rifles. They range in price depending on manufacturer, but of course Russia is the most desired. This one is an Arsenal refurb, which would bring down the collectability a little bit on the rifle, but cool nonetheless. What do you think about the condition on this one? I mean, for what it is, then the refinished condition, I would say refinished, very good condition. Uh, yeah, and I would say very good for what it is as well, and the customer said very good. So definitely have an agreement there. Really cool surplus firearms in today. So we'll end it on this one. All right, guys, well, thank you for joining us today. Today we got in some really cool surplus stuff, so we'll see what comes in tomorrow or the rest of the week. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video and like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification button so you are aware when we are posting new content. We're going to leave you guys off with that. I am Chris. And I'm Randy. And we will see you guys next time. A few firearms you guys might find interesting, so we're going to bring you along for the adventure. If that sounds fun, God, that sounds fun. What is this? Barney? <laughs> Come on, fun. kids. Come on, kids. <laughs> Shut up, I John. hate you. You hate me. I'm going to bury you under a tree and plant protected plants so you can never be dug up. That got real dark <laughs> real fast. Real. That went <laughs> real. <laughs> Another unboxing video. We got a, some. They're not about. Six barrel. And the trigger hinge does move down and slide, comes right off. Just, just right. Damn it, John. You had <laughs> one job. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it, baby. <laughs>